I wanted to point out one thing that uh, might really uh, surprise uh, the voters and the public, and it's one of the, the darker sides of judicial elections, and that is this concept of pay to play. Here's how it works. Uh, you want to uh, be endorsed by these uh, magazines or newspapers that reach hundreds of thousands of voters. And so you'll ask for their endorsement, and the magazine owner will come to you and say, yeah, yeah you're a good candidate, uh, but you know we have ads. We, we have advertisements that uh, we put in these papers along with our endorsements. We sure would like you uh, to place an advertisement. And I would say, well, no, I'm, I'm going to be using my money for TV. That's the biggest impact. And here's the, the pitch. They, they will say, if you don't buy an advertisement, it might be $25,000, it might be $30,000, we're going to have to offer it to your opponent. And, uh, and, and it's, uh, it's a squeeze play. And so you either uh, pay for this advertisement or you don't get the endorsement and it goes somewhere else. That is what is going on behind the scenes. And so these voters get these, adver these magazines and newspapers and there'll be a list of endorsements and maybe it's a very uh, conservative uh, uh, newspaper and, and these voters will take that endorsement page out and go to the ballot booth and vote uh, based on uh, who the magazine has endorsed. Uh, it's not a very pretty scene, but it, it goes on every day.